Hey guys, how's it going? I got my 3000 watt grow watt here, and I've got my 5.1 kilowatt hour uh, EG4 battery here. And we are going to see how long it'll last when it runs my three fridges and two furnaces. So five items on there. So let's hook it up. I'll show you the fridges and uh, we'll see how long it can last. No solar. Uh, we might do another test where we run solar to this thing. To, but uh, let's just run it on the battery, see how long it'll last. So here's my deep freezer, which we're going to be we're going to be running. It's very tall. This is my main house refrigerator and freezer combo. This will be used the most. And here's a smaller fridge I'm going to be running as well. This is for a basement apartment we have in our house. So we want the renters downstairs to have power during an emergency. And then here are the two furnaces. So one for my upstairs and one for the basement apartment. They have their separate furnace down here. And I just wired in these cords. So basically I can unplug this and unplug that one. And then I'm gonna plug these into the uh, grow watt upstairs with some extension cords. This should, this should be a very interesting experiment. So I need to hook up the battery terminals and uh, run all of the um, extension cords. So give me a minute for that. Okay, this is the first time I'm using this. Plug this in here. Your gas furnaces. So I'm hoping that they will not use that much power because really, this is really just a blower for air. I have another video where I show how I wire in this furnace plug. It's pretty easy actually. And this goes to the fridge. And then this is going to go a long ways up to the top. Okay, I got my battery hooked up. Now, the battery doesn't actually have a screen, but this grow watt has a screen. So, there's a battery management there's a battery management system on here that will send all of its data up to this separate unit. And so I'll have the screen to see all the information about the battery here. I also do a review of these two items. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, this thing can output three, four, I think it's 4,500 watts uh, for spike uh, use, but it can uh, consistently output 3,000 watts. So I'm just gonna use this 30 amp plug. This might be a little overkill, but if all the fridges happen to turn on at the same time, I'm hoping this will protect me. I've got these big connectors here. Never used this before, it looks kind of interesting. Okay, it's midnight. I got all the extension cores ran, and I'm glad I'm doing this exercise because I uh, I thought I could run some extension cords in a certain direction, but I couldn't, so it took a lot longer than I thought to move the extension cords, but let's, let's plug it in. First, we're gonna turn on our battery here. Earlier, we charged it with this unit. We charged our battery to 100%. Okay, here's my first plug. Two furnaces and a fridge. Let's plug this in. I've got a broken fan blade in here, so it's kind of loud. I'm waiting to get that replaced. 109 watts right now. Okay, this plug is to the kitchen fridge. So here is the outside freezer. So we've got all of them plugged in. It's only using 142 watts. Battery 99%, that's good. Uh, no power coming into this unit. You can run AC power to this unit or solar. I'm only outputting 5% of its capability. Let's make sure these are still running. Yeah, I got a light on in here. Yeah, that's good, that's running. Yes, this one's running too. I just heard this furnace kick on. Obviously my fridge is the compressor is not running, but that'll turn on occasionally to keep the food cold. So so let's uh, see how long it lasts. So I just checked on it. It looked like the, the compressor turned on. So now we're at 500 watts output. That is so cool. Yeah, it's running. I'm running off my generator here. So cool. It's midnight, so I will check it in the morning and we'll give you an update. Okay guys, it's two in the afternoon on the next day and surprising the system is still running. Here's my furnace. That furnace is running. 
Yeah, it's going good, except uh, last night I noticed that this furnace isn't turning on for some reason. It was kind of chilly in our house when we woke up. It's like uh, pretty much 30, it's just at freezing temperature outside. I noticed that this furnace, it try it tries to turn on and like you can hear the gas fire up for probably like three seconds and then it shuts down. So I'm not sure what's going on with this. I've still got to troubleshoot why. I thought it would maybe pulling too many amps, but this is on a 20 amp breaker and that's the breaker's not uh, flipping. And I also plugged my microwave into this just to see if it could run my microwave and it runs my microwave. That was like 16 or 1700 watts. That my battery is at 25% this right now after like 14 almost 14 hours. Hey guys, it's 2:20 and I just noticed that the power's off. Shows at 20%. Yeah, so in my scenario, I think I might need two of these guys because it's two o'clock and so the sun's just kind of coming out. So I'm gonna maybe I'll, maybe I'll try another test with solar. I've got like 1400 watts of solar out there I could plug into. Hey guys, so I did figure out how to run the battery down to zero. It's a setting. I didn't do that. But I could have gotten an extra, I assume, like three hours out of that 20%. And so I could have got probably 17 hours total out of that unit, out of the battery. So I could have used a watt meter to determine how much power my appliances are using. You'll also want to find out how much idle power your inverter uses. But I'm glad I did this test because I found some things that were wrong and uh, it was just fun. So what do you guys think I should try next? Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.